third outright with a consistent drive and WA locals, plenty of crowd support. Tom Wild, Bill Hayes, well done, guys. Thanks, Dan's very good. Now, this one here, a tough event. You're, you know, you're the locals here with plenty of support, but it's just, it just seems to get harder and harder every event. Yeah, definitely the speed of everyone this year is, is a lot more competitive and trying to keep up with these two in front going crazy is pretty hard work. So uh, we're just happy to settle with third for the podium at home. It's really very happy. Now, Bill, you're a new combination, but gelling very well. And Tom's got you know, a lot of talent here and he's going to push them towards the end of the championship, I think. Oh, yeah, I no doubt. I think, I honestly think before the end of the year, it'll be us up the front. Um, you know, he's improving every rally and it showed here. You know, people talk a lot about local knowledge, but at this level, it doesn't mean that much. So to be that close to him is really good. And Tom, you were in a similar position in Canberra, unfortunately it slipped away. Must be nice to nail your first podium of the year as well in the new car. Yeah, Bill said to me before we went into the last stage, he said, no, no repeats of Canberra in this one, Tommy. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just happy to get through it unscathed. So, very happy. <laughs> So second outright for the weekend, but heat winners in a tough battle. Scott Petter and Dar Mosca, well done, guys. Tough, tough work. Yeah, thanks, mate. Just a typical quit forest rally, really. Just uh, really, really tough, but really enjoyable stages. And the little Renault uh, held there, held, held towards the end. So uh, you know, it's great to win in a heat and, and be in uh, be in touch with uh, Eli and Glenn. As far as the championship goes, those points today were critical. Scotty told me he was going to push. How was it in the passenger seat, mate? Yeah, look, and we were pushing, <clears throat> and the reason my throat's a bit like that, we hit a big rock and it's pulled the exhaust off. So the last couple of stages, we've actually resorting to hand signals in the car because it's just so ridiculously loud. And <clears throat> I think it's only beer's going to fix this throat. <laughs> <laughs> well, there'll be a good chance of that. Scotty, it's never over till it's over in these things, is it? Till the last metre, anything can happen, and this, this rally is unbelievable. Yeah, look, it's one of those unique sports. The ups and downs in this sport, as you know, is just incredible. And, you know, you think you're floating along all right, and, you, and, you, uh, and then you come unstuck, you know, and that's just that's what makes this sport so special and, and why we keep coming back for some reason. <laughs> We're two rounds in, but the fight for the championship is on. Oh, look, you know, anyone that doubted this formula is uh, probably hiding under the bed right now. And, you know, you've got so many people that can win win stages and win rallies. But, you know, there's some cream coming to the top and some more people look, look, having a look at the championship. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good times ahead for the ARC, I think. A tough, a very demanding weekend, but here are the victors, round winners, Eli Evans and Glenn Weston. What a tough weekend. That was incredible. It was such a tough day today. Those stages on the second run were really copping a hiding, and it was so rough and, and tough on the cars, but on the Jazz did it again. Yeah, it's amazing. It was an, probably an easier run yesterday if there's such a thing. Today it was demanding, and uh, Westo didn't quite get there today for the heat win, but the round and the points are there. Yeah, well, look, look we've added to our total. We've stretched a few more points gap over Scott for the season, so, you know, to come out of, uh, out of this rally with a straight car and more points, uh, you can't argue with that. Now, as far as this year's championship, more points, as we said, but a bit of a record you've equaled, which I'm sure you can be proud of, as far as wins in a row. Possum held it with eight round wins in a row. You equal that here. Pretty big, isn't it? Yeah, it is pretty special. Possum was, uh, he was the best, wasn't he? So he's a guy I always looked up to when I was a kid. I'd go out and watch him rally and he was always the most spectacular and, and uh, he always went the hardest. So to sort of be mentioned in the same sentence as him is pretty special. Um, yeah, it uh, probably hasn't hit me yet, but, um, you know, we're going to go into SA and we'll see if we can break his record. Ladies and gentlemen, the three fastest teams in this year's Quit Forest Rally.